to win in the lottery? One in 175 million. That means you're more likely to become president of the United States than walk away with the country's most talked about jackpot. That didn't stop crowds of people or their imaginations as they bought their tickets. Do you have tonight's winning ticket? It's time to find out. They call it Powerball Fever. With the jackpot the way that it was, I thought that I would try it. At $500 million, the Powerball jackpot is at its highest mark since May of 2013, when it was $590 million. 25 gets us started, and right after that we have the number 11. And in 46 states, potential millionaires grab their tickets. Because it's $500 million, and because I happen to live just down the road from the luckiest store in the state. And luck has a lot to do with it. The Rays market in Jacksonville is known for producing big winners. The West family won the $340 million jackpot back in 2005. I saw everybody going in and I remembered this is the one of the luckiest stores around our valley, so I decided to hit it up. It was worth $6, so we'll see. Everyone seems to have their own superstitions for how to play the lottery. As for me, I don't look at the ticket until after the numbers are drawn. I have a five on my ticket and five is usually a good number for me. With chances of winning the jackpot less than being struck by lightning twice. It's not going to happen, but it's fun to play. Others are putting their faith in the universe. Try and do good by other people and uh, eventually life will take care of you too. So hopefully karma. And hoping a little piece of paper might be their ticket to riches. Now the results are in. There are three winners from tonight's jackpot in Puerto Rico, North Carolina, and Texas. So if you're like me and you didn't win, well, you still have a better chance at running for president. Live in studio, Matt Jordan, NBC5 News. All right.